My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of the story of Bioshock Infinite. And this will be a spoiler filled review so if you haven't seen it, go and play it and then come back and watch this review because I will be going in depth. I think I said see it but I meant play it but I'm sure you could figure it out. But anyways, lots of people love this game, I did not and a big reason of that is that I didn't find this story to be very good at all. And unlike the other two games, this game is completely reliant on it. So of course I'll get to the ending, but before I do, let's talk about some minor issues up until that point. And the main one is, I didn't really care for this relationship between Booker and Elizabeth. I just felt like it was missing something. Like, if you take a game like Last of Us, there's a scene where... Joel and Ellie are fighting in this bedroom and it's a great scene and it really solidifies just how far these characters have come. And this game is just lacking a moment like that. It feels pretty consistent throughout. It's lacking much progress or growth. And there's this one moment where Elizabeth is shocked to discover that Booker is going to take her to the person who hired him to bring her to. And I'm just like, well, you knew someone hired him to get you so why are you surprised so I thought that was really stupid and then just everything about Elizabeth and who she is and who her parents are I just didn't care about at all they try to make it seem like it's some sort of mystery but it's not really introduced into this until this random part in the game and I just couldn't have cared less by that point and I also found that the tales were not properly set up at all like, if you take a movie like Interstellar, which starts off on a farm and ends up in this 4D dimension of space and time, the transition to get from one to where they end up is seamless. But you play this game and you're just like, okay, why was there no mention of Tales up until you see Elizabeth for the first time? Like, if it's a big part of the story, you either want to slowly ease them into it or you introduce it at the very start. Because otherwise it just feels like, oh, so I guess there's tales and they can go through the fabric of space and time. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing now. And it just doesn't work. There's this one part where you enter this world that's in the middle of the civil war and it's just like, I feel like it's trying to feel big, grand and epic and I just couldn't have killed less because there's no build up to it at all. You just go to another world and there's this civil war. Like if you take a movie like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the war between humans and apes was set up at the very beginning. And then when it happens, it feels like you're getting the payoff. But this one, you just go to another world that's already in the middle of a war and it just doesn't it doesn't work. It's not effective. And then from the point that Elizabeth gets captured again, it just starts to feel like a convoluted disaster of a story. So you go on this ship, Elizabeth gets her four powers and you go to the city of Rapture, which is something I'm like, okay, let's see what they do with that. This is cool. You're bringing it back to the first game. And then you immediately leave Rapture, just making it feel like nothing more than fan service. And the big explanation is just, in an alternate universe, the city in the sky would be under the sea. And it's just like, oh, so that's the way this game's connected to the other two? Like, if you wanted to do this totally different story, then why put the name Bioshock on it? Because there's nothing about this game that feels Bioshock in any way. And when you think it's going to tie it all together, it's the lamest, most laziest kind of excuse. And then we get this part where we see infinite Bookers and infinite Elizabeths doing the same thing. And I just didn't find this to be satisfying because this idea wasn't introduced at the start. If you're going to explore all these different possibilities and all these infinite universes, set it up at the very beginning or at least slowly transition there. But this just feels way too jarring. Like, even when you get the tales around the second act, it never feels to the level this one is. It's like if you watched the first episode of Dark, and then you skipped to the last three episodes of the entire series. And you'd be like, oh my goodness, how did we get here? And that's the case here. It just feels so jarring. And it's trying to tackle these ideas, and they weren't set up beforehand. Like, if they had discussions about 
all the missed opportunities they had in life and things they wish they did differently. If it was a key part of the characters from the very start. But no, they're just as vague as possible. When you die, you go to this private eye kind of office looking space and that's as much setup as you get. So I don't think it works narratively or thematically. And then they just explain every single thing. Like if you have a question, they answer it all within five minutes. And it's just like exposition overload. There is way too much information getting dumped here. And because it's happening in a short period of time, just for the sake of it, none of it is satisfying at all. And then Booker being Elizabeth's father just doesn't work for me. By making all these characters connected, you make this world feel very small. And it's just like, so Booker just conveniently forgot that's his daughter and everything that happened to him. It just doesn't work. It's not satisfying. And then we find out that she's able to open these tails because she was reaching through the portal as a kid and it cuts off her finger. So because it's one of her and two worlds, they're connected. And then it turns out that Booker, when he gets baptized, he becomes Comstruck, Comstock or whatever. And that's when he's the bad guy. But when he doesn't get baptized, that's when he stays Booker. And there's all these different Comstocks and Bookers. And it's just a mess even talking about it. Look, I already brought it up in this video. But you take a show like Doc. Well, by the way, everybody ends up being related to everyone in it. Everything is connected in that show. But by taking its time and by setting up each character in this world so perfectly, they find a way to make it work. And you just get the opposite effect here. And it just feels like a giant convoluted mess. And also, if Comstock and Booker are the same person, didn't like anyone notice the similarities? Like, hey, that's Comstock or whatever. I don't really think that worked. And then just ends on a note. Well, all of these different Elizabeths team up and they kill him so he doesn't exist. And then they just fade away one by one. And I just found it to be so unsatisfying. Like, let's say I did care about these characters and their relationship. Then you just threw all of that away in this pursuit for these bigger ideas. And if you pulled it off, fine, but you didn't. You completely failed. So to me, you sacrificed characters that I wasn't even huge on in story for the sake of, for the sake of these big ambitious ideas. They tried to do more than they were actually able to work with. And the end is just this convoluted mess. I never felt the epic scale that it was trying to paint. It just felt lacking every step of the way. And the last 10 minutes just feel so made up on the spot. It feels like a completely different game. Not to the point where it slowly transitions to it. But just this one game about this guy rescuing this girl and having to take her back to the person who hired him. And then this game with all these alternate universes and all that, and I just don't think it works. But do you disagree with me? Let me know why in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.